Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you how to apply for the green card or the DV lottery 2025. Now, I know some of you will be wondering why 2025? 2025 because that is the available um, application. If you go on the internet, you see applications for 2023. Some people go and apply for the one in 2023. It has passed. The one in 2023 was played in 2021. The one in 2024, those who are going to travel to America using the green card lottery, they, are, they played in 2022. Those who are going to travel in 2025, they have to play in 2023. So be careful who you ask or you give your application to. Some people will deliberately go and register you to an old website, the one that has passed in 2023. Some will not even know. Some will be so ignorant and they will register you under 2024, which has passed. You are applying for DV 2025. Be careful when they are doing your application. You can do it on your own. It's so simple. I will show you. However, if someone is doing it for you, look very well. Make sure it's written 2025. Now, let me show you how to apply. So, the website for the visa lottery, DV lottery is called, um, give me a second, travel.state.gov. Government, look at this website. Look at, can you see? Screenshot this website. Put it on Google. Travel.state.gov. This is the only official website. Now, when you go under, you find this form. You find this form. This is U.S. Department of State. Travel.state.gov. Bureau of Consular Affairs. This is the only official document with instructions for the diversity visa lottery. 2025 apply for 2025 please be very careful most of you people are going to help you to apply but they will apply for 2024 and you are going to be disqualified they will not even select you so these are the instructions you can go and read and you can see the eligibility most people and um, you can see it's written here for people um of these countries cannot apply bangladesh brazil canada people china Mainland Hong Kong, Colombia, Dominican Republic, and there's also Mexico and Nigeria here. Nigeria is a bit conf confusing. If you are a Nigerian, you want to apply, you can only apply if you have a spouse, you have, you are married or you have a partner who lives in a country that can apply. For instance, you can see eligibility. Requirements number one, natives of country with historically low rates of immigration to the united states may be eligible it means that if you are a nigerian and you are married to a cameroonian to a Ghanaian, to a Côte d'Ivoire, to a congolese to a benin in beninoise you can apply with your spouse provided you apply under one application and you are going to travel to america at the same time this is it you can go and read better or screenshot and read it better Nigerians are not completely out. They can apply if their spouse is a member of another African country. Yeah. So let's go to the next one. The next requirement, each DV applicant must meet the education work experience requirement. At least a high school education. You need to have high school, advanced level in Cameroon. I don't know how they call it in your country. Or you need to have a relevant two years work experience. You can go and check this work experience under this website. You can have two years of work experience within the past five years in an occupation that requires at least two years of training or experience to perform. You can see the U.S. Department of State will use the U.S. Department of Labor's own net online database to determine qualifying work experience. Now, this is... The entry period applicants must submit entries for the dv 2025 electronically at this is the website between 12 p.m noon eastern day time and um, blah 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 wednesday um october 4 2023 and then noon 12 p.m noon eastern standard time gmt minus five tuesday november 7 2023 so it starts from october 4th until November 2023. 
do not wait until the last week of registration period to enter as heavy demand may result in website delays. Yeah, that's what I said. The first week and the last week is not the best time to apply. So to apply, you have to submit your application on the website. Here is the website. You can see the website. dvprogram.state.gov. Click here. When you click here, it will bring you to U.S. Department of State Bureau of Consular Affairs. You can see. They will tell you, welcome our State Department website for 2025 diversity program is now open. Entry, submission period, DV is from blah, blah, blah. I already showed you the time. After reading the instructions, click begin entry button below to enter the DV program. So you see the instruction. Please read the instructions. I already showed you the instructions. Now, let's go to this tricky, tricky part. The, the photo, the photo requirement. You can see. Begin, before beginning the entry process, verify that the picture and the pictures of any dependent fully comply with the DV entry photo requirement in DV 2023. Your case will be disqualified if you submit a non-compliant photo. For example, of acceptable photo, click below. You can see acceptable photos. These are acceptable photos. They don't, they don't accept eyeglasses. It should be clear, no shadows, acceptable visa photos. Go and tell them you want visa photo for American lottery. They will know. So this is the photo requirement. Photo tip. If you're applying in person or by mail, your photo should be two times two, five, 51 times 51 millimeters with the head centered and size between one and 1 1.4, 25 and 35 millimeters. You have to show this description to the photographer. You cannot photo, you cannot take a photo by yourself. You can you need to go to a professional. And then if you are renewing online, make sure there is ample space around your head to allow room for authentic cropping by our photo tool. Your digital photo must be in format at least 60 by 600 by 600 pixel. Screenshot this one, this place, and show the photographer and at least 54 kilobytes in size. If you already have a photo, you can use this tool. You can use their tool here. You can see acceptable photos. Exposure, you need to expose. These ones are not accepted. You can see. Look at the head. Some have shadows. So you can see now. If you choose your photo, you choose your photo here. You put any photo here. I don't want to see. So let's say I choose this my photo. Okay, please don't laugh at this photo, please. Your photo has been rejected for the following reason. A photo must be straight. The image is overly complex. Please use. You have to. Normally, you cannot snap by yourself. Go to a professional, okay? So I will skip this page because I'm not doing mine now. And I, I've, I've not taken a photo yet. These are photos that have been rejected. It because so dark. Photo should not over over ex over exposed or underexposed. you should adjust your camera exposure or use lightning you can see this one is also not accepted this one is accepted you can see this one you can see shadow no shadow you can see so it's not accepted so we move on so now you click this authenticator authentication code and submit after you submit you now have to fill First one, last name. You have to fit your father's name here. Your father's name here. Your first name. Some of us don't have middle names like me. I don't have middle names. My two names are my first names. Clivet and another name. My, and then I have last name, my father's name. If you don't have middle name, you click no middle name. Your gender, you select male. You put your date of birth here. Your city where you live, where were you born? Enter the city, birth city. Here. Okay, guys, continuation of where we ended. You have to put enter your birth city only. Do not enter district, country, province, state. Only your birth city that you have to put here. On your birth date, you have to put the month, the day, and the year. Then after entering your birth city, birth city, if you don't have a birth city, maybe in your passport, they didn't put your birth city, you can click unknown. 
country where you were born, like where you have the passport. You come here, you select your, if it's Cameroon, you just press C. You can now scroll and you see Cameroon down. Right? Number six, country of eligibility for the pro DV program. Your country of eligibility will normally be the same as your country of birth. Your country of eligibility is not related to where you live. If you were born in a country that is not eligible for the DVD program, please go to blah, 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 blah. Are you claiming eligibility based on the country where you were born? You click yes. If not, you must enter the country from which you are claiming eligibility. Entrant photo, the seven one. You have to put now your photo. Photographs must be submitted at the same time of the e dv entry photographs do not photographs that do not comply with all specifications including but not limited to recency of the photos must be taken in the last six months composition of the photos and unacceptable backgrounds are grounds for disqualification of the entire entry any manipulation of photographs that alter the facial characteristics is ground for disqualification of the entry. See example on photo example for this, something like this. Let's see the examples of disqualifications. You can see acceptable photos. I showed you guys already. These ones are not accepted. You should not overexpose or underexpose. You should adjust your camera exposure or use extra lightning. This one has shadows. You can see this man's shadows. It's not accepted. This one is kind of blurry. You may need to adjust your camera's white balance setting depending on the lightning. Okay, so let's continue. Now you come here, link to photo instructions. Uh, we, 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 we spoke about that already. So clicking the choose photo button will allow you to look for the photo. So you can come here, you choose. When, they, when you take your photo from the photographer, you send it to your email, you download it. Then now you come to your download. You can save it under your download, your desktop, or your recent, or your uh, uh, documents. You come, you click the photo you want to put. I will not select any photo because I'm not doing my own now. And then now you come. All of these ones are optional. You can put, um, they said, um, if in case... In care of optional, you can avoid all of these ones. This one, this ones, you can avoid them. Zip code, you can just put zero zero. Postal code, you can just put then now here. You come on, put your country again. Country where you live today. You put where you live. Even if you are a Cameroonian, but you live in Germany, you put you put the where you live. You don't have to lie because they will know. You put your phone number. You come down. You put your email address like this for example at disney.com you confirm your email again this is the email no this is the email we will use to provide you with additional information if you are selected you have to put your own email because when you are selected they have to tell you that you have been selected and then after playing they will send you a confirmation letter on that email that's what you will use to know if you have been selected or not what is the highest level of education you have achieved as of today it must be from high school, high school, high school degree or high school. If you cannot put primary, if in primary school, you are disqualified. This one is disqualification. You can put high school, high school degree. It must go up like that. What is your current marital status? If you are married, you must play with your spouse. It's a must. So if you are married, you must play with your spouse. Let's say for instance. You are not married you can say unmarried and then or you can say married and my spouse is not a u.s citizen so you can go to this option and you apply but this one you say unmarried if you're single for, for my case then now if you are married they'll ask you to enter spouse information enter spouse information you enter your spouse information Legally, separation is an arrangement, blah, 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 blah. you can read this on your own. Number of children, you must put the number of children you have. If you lie, you will be disqualified. You must put. Because if you, if you lie, hmm, you say you don't have a child, and 
as a lady, when you go to the hospital, before you go to the for your visa appointment, American Embassy will send you to a particular hospital to go and do your medicals. These people will know if you've given birth or not. You cannot lie. As a woman, they will check you up and they will know if you have a child or not. You don't they don't need to ask you. Even if you have flat tummy, they will know you have a child. Number of children you put here and you put continue. Now I cannot continue because I didn't feel any of these entries. And when you continue, it will take you to a page where you just see, um, um, when you continue, it will take you to a page where you will just see that you should review, correct, if anything is correct or anything is wrong, and then you submit your entry. When you submit the entry, they will send you an email. On your email, you give to them with a confirmation number. That is a confirmation number you will use to check your DV lottery. Be careful with your photos. It shouldn't be too dark or too wide. No shadows. Show the photo size to um, the photographer. Let's go again with You can see photo size and position. You can see acceptable head is centered and correct size. You can see all of this. Your Show your photographer 600 by 600 pixels at least 54k kilobytes in size and 2 times 2 51 times 51 you must have this requirement you guys please please you can see this one look at this lady you can see she's not centered it's not part of her body is not showing mm -hmm. look at this one she's the same lady it's wrong look at this man you can see look at something Look at it's wrong. Look at it's wrong. It's not as this automatically. This person has been disqualified. They won't even go for that. They won't even check. They won't even app. You won't even play. You won't even be part of it. You can see retouching is not allowed. You can see this person has photoshopped. Photoshopped. You can see the head looking funny. It's not allowed. You can see this person it ha has um this dark flash in their eyes is wrong red eye is not allowed mm -hmm. yeah you can see the shape digitally altered they have a photoshop exposure you can see this one everything is showing well you can see this person is not even looking at the camera should be directly facing the camera mm -hmm. this person you shouldn't open your mouth you prefer a neutral face don't smile just a neutral normal face you shouldn't look down this person is not looking at the camera so be careful with the photo no hearts except this high job this one is not allowed this type of heart is not allowed this type of hairstyle is not allowed baby with this one is not allowed this type of stuff on your neck is not allowed you'll be disqualified background is white or off-white without shadows and is plain without texture or objects or lines children you can see this one is allowed for the child you can see this one is not allowed the child is not looking it has to face the camera you can see this is not allowed you can see not allowed because if you have a child or children you have to play with your kids this one is allowed child laughing is not allowed and is blurry yeah mm -hmm. you can see so this is acceptable believe me guys many people do not even take part in the lottery they get disqualified because of photo so take particular attention to your photos please it's so important it's so important please please i wish you guys good luck i'll be